Blender 4.3 is changing the way we approach materials and today's feature is a major leap forward. Say hello to the Metallic BSDF, a groundbreaking update that take your material creation to the next level. Let's explore why this update is a must try for every Blender artist. Hi, I am Muhammad Mehboob and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am breaking down every exciting update in 4.3, one video at a time. Today we are diving into the metallic BSDF, a feature designed to help you achieve ultra realistic metallic materials with minimal efforts. First let's check out Blender release page for a quick overview of this update. As you can see the metallic BSDF is highlighted as a key improvement to the shader system. This new shader simplifies creating physically accurate metallic surfaces, making your render more realistic and dynamic. So here you can see on the second stage metallic BSDF. Let's read the manual, read more, go to read more and uh, you can see. Uh, so they announced these two configuration. One of them is F2 tint conductor for nail approximation and the second one conductor for nail. This is little bit difficult for uh, control and uh, in this uh, you just select two color one is uh, edge shading and the uh, first one is the whole material metallic material and the second one is just for uh, edges uh, uh, like this edges shadow so like this edges shadow so let's uh, go back to our video so what is the metallic bsdf it is a dedicated shader node for creating metallic materials that simulate the behavior of real world metals more effectively. Unlike the standard principal BSDF, this new node focuses specifically on metallic properties, streamlining your workflow and providing better results. So here's some key benefits of uh, this node, physically accurate reflection, perfect for creating realistic chrome, gold and other metallic surfaces. The second one is simplified workflow, reduces the need for complex setup to achieve authentic metallic effects. Optimize rendering, enhanced performance when working with metallic material in both EV and cycle. So if we compare both principal BSDF and metallic BSDF, the metallic BSDF is purpose built for metals while the principal BSDF is a more general shader. This specialization means better control and more accurate result for metallic materials. So let's take some example, uh, live example. So jump to the, so this is our simple environment. I have two uh, models. Also these two are rings. So first delete this one and uh, we are on uh, materials mode so unhide this first one so this is uh, uh, a ring that i download from uh, blender kit for materials uh, for overviewing the material bsdf okay let's select this ring expand the viewport and switch this one to the shader editor and now create new you can see this is our simple uh, basic color so uh, this is our principal bsdf if we just change this color you can see this is not looking like a metal so just delete this one to get this result metallic result in principal bsdf we uh, need to uh, uh, adjustment some adjustment in the principal the bsdf like uh, roughness met metallic and more so if we go to the if we go to the metallic bsdf this is default configured if i switch this load to the surface you can uh, see it's instantly change the color into metallic okay let's rename this so let's create this one gold gold ring okay now change this sorry from here gold ring
so you can see if we play with these colors first you can see uh, here is two fernel type one is physical conductor and the second one is 82 tint if we are here on 82 f82 tint we have two different colors play with so the first one is base color ring base color and the second one is edge tint uh, it this color create a shadow effect on edges so let's uh, make the golden ring let's try i i think this is better and okay let's add some you can see if i go to the pink you can see these are here you can see this pink tint so this is for these type reflection so let's make it some this okay if you can uh, find it more shiny you can uh, just decrease the roughness so you can play with this uh, setting to get your result so if you see that i when i decrease the roughness you can see the change in the ring so this is our default metallic and if i go to the physical conductor you can see it instantly uh, change the roughness to the default and if we change the ior it's change in its color so we can if we uh, trying to get gold color so i think here so this is a uh, sim so this is uh, this type is difficult to achieve result desired color so i think i so you can play with these settings to get result i think I think it uh, it's taking more time so this is uh, difficult to control but this one is uh, very simple so you can use this uh, f82 tint to make metallic more realistic okay okay let's jump to the next example that is this is also a ring and uh, we get this one silver silver metallic bstf so just click this one and add new delete this bstf press shift a and search metallic socket this one so you can see it instantly change the color into i think silver if uh, we get more better so you can see here if you decrease this roughness you can see it instantly make a metallic surface you can see this is looking good so if we trying to make this one on principal bsdf this is very difficult to create this type of metal so if we render this image you we can find it more realistic so it instantly create this in minimal efforts without wasting more time so you can get better result with the use of bsdf and that is the metallic bsdf in blender 4.3 it's an incredible powerful tool for artists looking to create hyper realistic metals which material are you most excited to try this with let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notification to stay updated as i cover every feature in blender 4.3 thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video